Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. My name is Puneet and in this video we will talk about chain calculator. This is one of the popular front end interview question nowadays and usually asked at SC1 or SC2 level. So let us first talk about what question says. So the question says that we have to create a function calculator that should take one initial value and then begin chain multiple operations like add or subtract on it and at the end we should invoke the val function to return the value of the accumulator. In this example you can see that we have a calculator function with one initial value then we have multiple operations like add or subtract on it and at the end we have invoked val function to get the value of accumulator. In this case the initial value is 2 then we have add 5 that is 2 plus 5 is equal to 7 then we have subtract 4 that is 7 minus 4 is equal to 3 so the output is 3. A lot of time interviewers ask these types of question not to get any specific output from you in place they want to deep dive into different concepts like this binding or closures based on the answer you give or the way you give your answers. In this video we will talk about few of the approaches to solve this problem and still if you have any different approach please share in the comment section so that it can also reach to the community. If you guys are liking our content do hit the like button to motivate us to do more. Now without wasting any more time let's jump to implementation number one. To start with approach one I will first create the placeholder for cal function. Function cal it will take one initial value and we will have to do three things inside is first is we have to create accumulator so this is to store result second we have to define add subtract and well functions and third is we have to return an object with add subtract and val functions so this is for chaining now let's start with step number one so the step one says we have to create the accumulator i'll create a variable accumulator and initialize it with the initial value that i have received as parameter so this accumulator will be the closure scope of our function so if you guys are not aware about what closure is we have created another video on closure i will add the link in the description section you can watch that later for now you can just think that this variable accumulator can be accessed even outside the scope of this scale function with the help of add subtract or val functions that we are going to define now now let's jump to step two so we have to create the function add i'll create the placeholder for add now similarly we have to create the placeholder for subtract for val also i'll just rename this add to subtract and this add to we know that add will receive a number as an input parameter subtract will also receive a number as an input parameter and val will receive nothing else so we'll remain this as is now we have to return an object with add subtract and val function so in the approach one will not create any new variable we'll just assign all of these functions to, to this inside the scale and at the end we'll return this so i'll add this add is equal to the function this dot subtract is equal to this function and this dot val is equal to this function and at the end i will return this from here now we have to define add subtract and well so we'll first start with add so add function will increment the counter by the num so we will plus is equal to the num and we need to chain multiple operations after this add so i will return the, this reference from here similar to add we'll copy this code and we'll paste in subtract 
and in place of add we have to just subtract it from here and well function will just return the value of the accumulator we do not need to chain here so i will just return value of accumulator from here now to test this i'll just copy the code snippet from above we'll paste it at the end now i'll run this code snippet so to pick my file change the filter approach one so here the output is three now there is some problem with this approach also there is a problem with approach when here you can see that we are using this object and this here is the global object i can prove this by writing a console statement so i'll use this global and then i can compare this triple equal to global and if i will execute this again you can see that is this global is true so we are assigning th this with add subtract and val so before calling this if i'll have another console statement and i'll see like i'll print the statement before cal call if we want to see global dot add same console statement if i will have after this statement let's say after cal call and i want to see what is the value of global dot add let me just clear the console and execute this again so here you can see that before cal call it is undefined and after cal call it contains the function so indirectly we are polluting the global environment that is not recommended In the approach number two, we'll use almost the similar approach, but in place of using this, we will create a new object inside our cal function and will return that for chaining. Let's see how to do that. So I'll copy the code from approach one and will paste in approach two, as the approach is almost same. Just paste this. Now I'll create a new object accumulator so where let's name it as a cal obj this object should have definition of add subtract and well now in place of assigning these functions to this i'll just declare these functions add subtract and well so this definition will be part of this cal obj and in place of returning this from here i'll return my object and at the end also now we have all the console statements and the output as same in the previous approach so i will just run this code let me just clear the console so this is our approach number two now you can see that after running this uh, before calling cal global dot add is undefined and this inside is still global but we are not using this global so after cal call function global dot add is still undefined and the output is same now this was all about approach number two let's jump to approach number three approach number three is the recursive solution to the same problem so I'll just copy the code from solution two. We'll paste for solution three. Now let's just go through the code again. So there is a console statement. So let's comment this for a while. We will not be leading this accumulator. So let's remove this code. Only initial value will be 
for this approach and we will be needing this cal obj as we have to return it for the chaining purpose so let's keep it as is then there is a add function definition we'll remove the port from in here and in place of that we'll just return a function to cal call with the initial value plus the number and same is we'll implement for subtract also so let us just copy this and paste it into the subtract we just have to change this symbol from plus to minus and the val function will return the initial value as there is no accumulator so i'll replace this with the initial value and at the end we are returning this cal obj so there is no point of updating the global so just comment this also this statement now let us just try to run this for so let me just clear the console so i have to run this third approach here you can see the output is 3 there is a problem with this recursive approach also so every time we are creating this calling this cal function so it will create new definition of add subtract and val so let me just prove this let us just uncomment this statement and now run this again i'm just clearing the console and running it again now you can see that this function is called three times so the chaining is of three length so every time this function is called the definition of add well and subtract is created again and again that is not required and it is consuming a lot of memory that is all about approach number three let's talk about approach number four the approach four is little different in this we will use class based structure so let us first create a class let's name it as calculator define a constructor in this that would take one initial value I will assign this initial value to this dot accumulator now we have to define the functions so first one is add then we have to define subtract and val function so i'll name it as add sub and val as we know that add will take a number and subtract will also take a number as an input parameter val will take nothing as an input parameter so in the add i'll increment this accumulator by the number this dot accumulator plus is equal to number and i will return this from here so that we can change I'll copy this implementation for sub because we'll be having the same implementation for sub just we will be need to change this plus with minus and the val will just return the value of accumulator now we have to create a wrapper function to instantiate this calculator now I will write a function cal that will take one initial value return a new calculator object and will pass this initial value to it let's just go through the code once again i have created a class calculator with the constructor and initialize the initial value to accumulator then add will increment the value of accumulator and return this subtract will decrement the value of accumulator and return this the value will return the accumulator as is now let's try to run this code i'll just copy the code from here and paste it at the end now let's just run this code
launch number four. So here you can see the output is again three. So this was very clean, easy to understand, and also efficient approach. This was all about approach number four. These were the few solutions that came to my mind after reading this problem. If you still have any other approach, do share in the comment section so that it can reach to the community. If you have liked the video, hit the like button. Do subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and also share with your friends. Thank you.